a while ago, we covered the first Splinter Cell and Splinter Cell Double Agent. And now today, we're going to be covering Conflict. The third game, I do believe, in Splinter Cell series. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. And she was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up, turned him loose, and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left third echelon, left the life he knew, left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name, and he found somewhere to go looking. A city All right. called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept this. Compliments of your call. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life, we can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude, and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. Everybody leave! Get the fuck out of here! Like on, P on Xbox, when I was playing, that was never a thing. Inverted look. Good. Now let's get you a little closer to those targets in the light over there. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage stand. Make it there, no, and I'm, I'm there. I don't like being out Hang on. Here with no Tapping into up. the city's power grid. What That'll let me overload huh? the transformers near you, you and blow out those lights. Yeah. Get some goddamn. Well, that's the lights taken care of. Twenty years ago. Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? Like the dark, it's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. Why is there a light switch at the side of the bed? Why is it not by the door? Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. 
When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and he'll be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. Come on, show yourself, fucker. Hey! Oh, Suck it, shit. asshole! Oh. Shit! There we go. So much harder on PC. Come on, show yourself, fuckface! What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Hey, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou -ese. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now shit. you're talking. Okay. Got him. Dad, what did you do to them, Dad? Sarah, baby, don't look. Sam? What Sam. are you doing, Daddy? What, what are, are you doing? doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Graham. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. I never realized this because I never played them in the right order back in the day. But this game literally falls right an after. The leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramko, um, the local street level boss. It falls Fires right after regular basis. Who's he working for Double now? Agent. Why don't you ask him? I think because I they talk of Sam having to kill basically the main guy who oversees your missions during like the first two games. Lambert, is that, is Irving Lambert, they they called him. Looking for me. Yeah, asshole. the game falls literally right after. I never realized that before, and that the cannon ending. Double I'm agent is you around. killing Irving Lambert. Who sent you? I'm not telling you a goddamn thing. Interrogate. I love. I will say as well. I do love the graphics change between okay, each game. Enough. But you get a different side else, of Sammy? Sam Fisher. It's Corbin. Andre Corbin. <coughs> Runs trucks. Guns. Anything people want it's quite cool that the mirrors work perfectly to show what's on Why that wall. Want me dead? If I talk, Mate, just talk. <laughs> now that's gonna hurt, surely. You drove the car that hit your daughter. Used to brag about it, you know? Uh, heard you were coming, so he hired me to, to kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? You don't understand. Oh. But the interrogations and like level one plea and that sort of stuff. It's so cool. And the fact that there's a in dude the in there is quite you strange. Know, I didn't realize there was a dude in there before. This place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not going to tell him a damn thing. And then he breaks his neck and kills him. 
Like, just to be able to break someone's neck. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Coben's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Sam knew Coben was in there. And that he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in. No matter what. And that was a quick journey to find Coben. And I do love the fact that the mirror is literally the, um, I can't remember what the, the thing's called. It was like a camera used to stick under the door. And we'll trade Coben's mansion. Okay. Like, the amount it teaches you in such a short amount of time. Do what? Hey, be careful. Of course this place is... So, what's hey, on the schedule watch where you're tomorrow? going. Well, uh... I just had a bomb situation. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the one dude, there's two. It's really bad tonight. Body bags. <laughs> remove both of them. And uh, one of my favorite things is there's so many different ways you can do the mission. Like, you could do it by taking guys out of the windows, grabbing people from ledges. Like, you can do it so many different ways. Can you go through the front door? No, that's never an option. There's never the option to go through the front door. But I think there's a guy on this side as well. Maybe not. The whole game itself was just brilliantly done. And it's why it's one of my favorite Splinter Cell games. And I do actually want to finish all the, or show all the Splinter Cell games in the, um, as good as as good as I remember series. So what are we supposed to do with these? Drag into the back courtyard. Let someone else dump them. I guess that's something. Like, we have three people anyway? there as well. Yeah, that's what I am. I want to play all, all of the Splinter Cell games, or have played all the Splinter Cell games in this, like, first series. First season, should I say. Of as good as I remember. I mean, what the hell is he doing capping spooks? And... I love the fact that you can do... that. And that's three enemies taken care of. Hey, buddy. Shit. Whoa, man. It's a dude. Shit. 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 There we go. That's them dealt with. And the fact that they give you a weapon stash is just a good, like, little thing to this game. We want to equip that one. Like, you get so many different, like, weapons you could use. Silent shotgun. And like, you didn't get the scar till the end of the game. That's another like cool thing. They didn't give you the strongest gun in the game right at the start. And each gun you kind of, I think, you have to pick up to find them. Which is a cool fit little thing. Uh, we've got that one equipped. What can we put on it?
So that's going to give us more marks. So I'll purchase that. That we could put on that as increased accuracy. We'll grab that as well. Go back to the pistol. But the whole premise of upgrading weapons is just brilliant. I like, I love the fact that taking out lights is one of your best ways to create the cover of darkness for you. And also, if we hop up here. You can do that. I didn't really remember that guy was there, but... Fuck, man! Fuck! So we got him. There you go, because you're in darkness, so you couldn't actually see me until they actually wanted to look at me. Boss, what if he comes through the window? Then you shoot him! What kind of fucking stupid question is that? You get this straight. Nobody is going anywhere until Fisher. So, we could go through there. Or we could be smart. And I'm, if I remember right, we can go around the outside. I'm ready. Are you idiots ready? I'm ready. I'm ready right now. Still got it. What are you waiting for? Fucking kill him! <laughs> no one bites the dust. <laughs> what the fisher motherfucker? I did not fuck it! Is he the only one? Screw you, Fisher! Oh, there, now! Bad you like that, huh? My house, you hear me? My That's house. them taken oh, care of. Shoot you right in the face. Are you really, Tobit? Tobit was that, Cobin? Goddamn die! Oh, hello, Andre Cobin. Were you saying something about my daughter? Oh God, no. Yeah, I was just messing with you, man. I didn't mean it. I swear, I didn't mean it. Then make it up to me. Tell me why you killed her. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. I'll interrogate you, mate. Even worse. It was just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job. They isn't good enough. Who were you working for? I can't tell you. I'm still working for them. They'll gut me if I tell you. Who are you working for, buddy? It's not worth the punishment. I'm guessing this is they. How do you get over there? They're not the ones you should be worried about right now. You don't get it, Fisher! They're bigger than you. They're bigger than me. Don't you see? They told me you were coming. Drop it, Victor. Drop it down. Give me more. Be hurt. Sam, you need to go with them. The hell I do. Please, you have to trust me on this one. If you're talking to the Ice Queen, Fisher. I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. Hmm. What took you so fucking long? That's it, Fisher. Nice and easy. Man, this is Ghost Hawk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. All right, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup... Son of a... Sir... 
In a way, it kind of was a setup. I'll be happy when we drop off sneaking you here. So will breathe. I saw his people out by his chopper ready to go. He's probably impatient. Look, Colonel Prentice, I got us here as fast as I could. Yes, you did, Oscar. Tom Reed's just not a patient man. Uh, Colonel, I don't mean to be pushy on this one, but I do need to talk to you about my pay. I was told Coburn was handling that. Well, yes, sir, but since there were these changes, you see, extra passengers with extra gear and a longer flight plan. Tell you what, Oscar, take it up with Colonel Reed. He'll take care of you. It was clear someone wanted to talk to Sam. That's why they went to all the trouble of setting them up with Coburn's. That's why they tranked them and flew them back home. They needed him docile when they offloaded him at their private airstrip up in the Blue Ridge, because if they hadn't, he would have taken that place apart with his bare hands. He's awake. Fuel isn't free, man. Colonel Prentice. Major Robertson, we don't have time to chat. Our timetable says your men need to move. Everything's operational, Director Reed. We start deployment at 900 hours this morning. Good, keep things going on your end. I'm heading back to third echelon to prep things there. Oh, our people would be just fine. Never had any doubts. Now, gentlemen, if you'll excuse us, I need a minute with Miss Grimm's daughter here. There's a loose end that needs tying off. Of course, Major. Right. Fisher's all yours, Anna. You packaged him for us in Malta, you get to unwrap him here. Find out what he knows about the EMPs, how he knows it, and why he's been hunting our friend Mr. Coven. Might take a while, Tom. He's been trained to resist interrogation. I'm authorizing you to use whatever persuaders you need, chemical or otherwise. Get the answers, and dispose of them. Just don't be as messy this time. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Anything else? Just, Just get, get to, to it. it. And call me when you have something. I'll be at HQ. Listen to me. I'm working for President Caldwell as a mole inside third echelon. Reed's the new director, and he's working hand-in-hand -hand with our hosts here, a PMC called Black Arrow. They're running a pipeline for stolen Russian EMP tech through Malta, and Reed's stonewalling any kind of investigation into it. Reed's stonewalling the president. He's got serious political coverage from somewhere, and the president isn't getting anywhere through channels. We know they're in the final stages of prep for something very ugly, but what we don't know is what it is or where it's going down. Really? Then again, you seem more interested in field work these days. Stop it. I need you to do this. The second I make a move, my cover is blown. But you're on the outside now. You are free to act. I don't do this sort of thing anymore. Tell that to the men you killed in Malta. Now, if you don't make it look like you escaped and attacked me, I'm dead. So make it look good, Sam. Hit me. Do what you have to do. Grim, let me remind you I'm out of the game. You're not out. All it took was one hint about her. Only one hint about Sarah, and you dove right back in. What do you know about her? I know she's alive. How's that for starters? You're lying. She's dead. Lambert told me she was dead, and I take his word over yours. She's alive, Sam, and I know where she is. I've known all along. You're lying. Why should I believe you? Because my people have her. If you help me, you get to see her again. If you don't, it's out of my hands. It's an extortion. Do not lie to me about this, or I'll kill you. Do you understand me? I will kill you! Sam, I've been lying to you about this for years. Oh, 
does quite a slap. Okay. Okay, that'll do. Good work. Shut up. Here. My car's just outside their security gate. It's a red T-208. I disabled the GPS locator chip so Third Echelon's birds can't find it. And take this snake cam. It's linked with this phone. The signal's encrypted. In case you get lonely. So I can set up a call with Sarah to prove to you that she's alive and unharmed. Now we need to get you out of here without them coming after you. C4 should help with that. There's some right outside. Get it and call me back. I don't get the gun. Just point it at the right people. Oh, I will. See, I love how this one really plays into the story properly. Like, you didn't really get to know much in... in, um, Double Agent, because it was all about the mission. The whole game was about the mission, whereas this one's more... Whereas this one's more... Everything to do with Sam. It's more his story Grim, I've got than it is just a spy now, mission. The they may not be able to track my car by GPS, but they've got a chopper on site. That means they don't. Need to they just blow me off. Oops. Get far enough out into the sticks that no one will notice. You need to disable that chopper, or you're not going anywhere. Roger that. That would be better to hold off on the detonation. And there we go. At the. Huh? Power relay. Let's get the door open. Like, now I put a red, no red dot. Yeah, the red dot on here. It's just so much better. Like, I actually know where I'm firing. The accuracy is so much better. Like. That's how much an attachment to a gun can can change. It can change literally the entirety of how a gun works. I feel like they're gonna come in. Give it up, asshole! I know you can. Like accuracy is so needed in this in this game. Gotcha. Any more of you? Don't think so. Nice yeah, job. there's multiple now, reasons why I love this game. We have 900. What haven't you told it's me? It's not fully upgraded. There's a satellite dish on site with an uplink to a private spy bird. Use some C4 to take it out. I thought your car was clean. It is. But if they get a visual lock on you from the sat, it won't matter. Why don't you go see if there's anything else you forgot to mention? Like... I want to pause one moment just to discuss a couple of things with this game. Like, each Splinter Cell game as it is, the graphics upgrade each time. They upgrade with the time they're released. Like, Splinter Cell 1, Sam, I didn't think he had, you could tell he had, like, any sort of facial hair. Splinter Cell 2, you could see, oh, not Splinter Cell 2, Double Agent, you could see that he had stubbled hair, stubbled beard, it upgraded, it showed you less like, well, I can't know what the word is, but it, it showed you more detail of a character. Like, you could tell certain features of a character by just looking at them. And Splinter Cell Conviction takes that to another level by giving you detailed hair, Beard, like you could t 
even see the cut on his face so much better. And like each grain, not grain, but each line of his jumper or jump blood shirt, you can tell the detail of how you can tell the pocket is 3D as well. It's brilliantly done. Between this clip and the last clip, time has passed a little bit and I've now got my Wraith hoodie on. And Oh, they found the body. They found the body. He's found the body. Gotcha. But yeah, the time has passed a little bit. I don't know what any of these dudes are. Where are all these dudes? Oh, they're all over there. The detail and the like character, weren't we? A moment ago. But anyway, we talked about the detail and like the character customization and all the, like the detail in the game itself like how each game has got better detail in like character customization the missions have got better I'd say Two. The prisoner is still at large. Repeat, the prisoner is still at large. Where are they? Are they? I don't know why, but I feel like it's the person speaking over is grim. It sounds like her a little bit, but I'm not sure if it is or not. There's a guy behind. How did you get there, buddy? Not escaping if if easily done. Era's fine, but I have to push back the call. I promised you. Stop playing games and don't call me again unless you've got my daughter on the line. That's that dealt with. Of course, I'm a ninja. I'm Sam Fisher. Shot through the box. Disrupt. See, this is the thing I like about the missions. They're so well done. And if you're the perfect, like, uh, doing stealth games, then this is definitely a game for you, because you can do this in perfect stealth. If you have perfect accuracy to go along with it as well. Like the cutscenes of this game, they're brilliantly done too. Security, Victor Cost speaking. Vic, it's Sam. I'm in town and could use a little help. Uh, if you're asking for help, we better do this face to face. And what the hell's going on back there? I thought you'd recognize the sound. Remind you of anything? Yeah. I rank. Yo, Sam. How's your little girl? She's doing fine. I got a picture from her in the mail. I think her mom helped her draw. Nice. My kids don't draw me pictures or write or anything. They don't write because you can't read, man. <laughs> Lock it up. But when I get out of here, you're going to kindergarten. 
You know, I hear they got entrance exams at kindergarten now, Sam. I don't know if Vic's gonna make it in. <laughs> Sam trusted me, because of what we'd been through together in the Gulf. That's why he called me after Third Echelon did their little number on him. He needed someone to watch his back. I was the only one who could. I'm going to pause it there. If people do want to see more of this game, there will be a light like, goal of five down below, like with all the games I've played within the series. The question is, is it as good as I remember? I'm going to put that as a yes. So far, it is as good as I remember. The cutscene's gorgeous for when it came out. Detail to character design, perfect. Is the games getting better and better as they go along? Yes. And with this game played, there's only one more Splinter Cell game left that I've played that I want to have a look at. And that's Splinter Cell Blacklist. The Splinter Cell where everything kind of changed. Like the way things are done changes. But we will discuss that when I cover it in a video. For now, the rating I'm giving this as to how good I remember it, it's a 9. Like, the game wasn't perfect at any point, but what game is? I've given it a 9 for that reason, but for now, thank you for watching, I'll see everyone next time.